Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to do a nudes and neutral eyeshadow and makeup look, but first off, I just wanted to apologize for this last month. I haven't been putting up very many videos because I was busy house sitting my in-laws house and so I was kind of living in between my house and their house and going back and forth so I didn't get as many videos up this last month as I wanted to but now that I am back home I am back on my normal schedule and should be back to doing more videos. In today's video, I just wanted to do a very nude and neutral brown colored eyeshadow, bronzer, and lip. I am definitely a nudes neutral kind of girl. So if you guys wanted to see how I created this makeup look today, then just keep watching and let's get right into it. I've already done my brows off camera and then the first thing I'm going to do is my eyes. To prime my eyes, I'm going to use my Soft Ochre Paint Pot. MAC Paint Pots are my favorite for priming just because I feel like they really grab onto the shadow and they don't get oily on anyone's eyelids. They are just one of my very favorite eyeshadow primers. Okay, once that is all over my lids, I'm just going to be using my Pixie and It's Judy Time Collaboration Palette for my nudes. I just love this palette. It's amazingly pigmented. It has a lot of like neutral colors. I just think it's so pretty. It's been one of my very favorites. And I'm gonna start off with a big fluffy brush and this color here, this is Good Morning, and I'm just gonna be buffing that into the crease just to give a nice warm, neutral, nude transition color. I also kind of like to like wing it out on this outer corner too. It just kind of helps elongate the eye when you really bring it out on the sides. It makes your eyes look larger. Kind of gives that cat eye effect. I really like nude colors. That's like my total comfort zone. Very rarely do I do a very like bright, colorful eyeshadow look. Sometimes I'll do bright colors on my lips. Rarely do I do colorful eyeshadow. I'm really excited because I'm going to dinner tonight with some friends that live out of town. They're my best friends from high school. One of them lives in Arizona now and then the other one lives about an hour and a half away from me. I'm excited to see them. Next, I'm going to be taking this like orangier terracotta color here. It's called Honey Bear. Putting that also in my crease area, right above the lid. If you guys can hear snoring, it's my dog in the background. She always wants to sit right next to me on my little couch while I'm filming and she is a pug and pugs are such snorky, snoring little creatures. I almost forget how much she does it until someone else like points it out how much she snores because I've just like accepted it now it's just normal I know I kind of look like a raccoon right now but just bear with me so I'm just going back to the blending brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend that in and really smoke it out all right on my lid I'm going to take this color here it's called snowflake it's just a really light golden -y color and I'm gonna put that all across my lid and I am going to spray my brush once I've packed some of that color on with this it is coconut water and it just helps the color really show up I'm taking that about midway on my eyelid I'm going to take this color here it's like a mid kind of deeper brown and it's called tutu and then the last color I'm taking here is called Dark Chocolate and it's kind of a cooler brown. And I'm placing that right on top of where I put Tutu. I'm gonna make this kind of messy cause I'm gonna clean it up with a wipe. Just to make a really nice sharp line because I'm gonna do a bold wing. So I just want it to be really dark in the outer corner. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a wipe. These are just my mini wipes. Basically what I do is I take a regular wipe and I cut it into like six pieces because all I need this for is to just clean up the under eye. So I cut it into small little pieces so that it's not a waste. And basically what I'm gonna do is just follow my under eye on my lid to make a line. I'm just gonna clean it up a tiny bit more the end there we go and that's basically where I'm gonna do my wing too so it's nice because it already gives you a line of like where you want to do your wing for my winged liner I'm just gonna use this Jessie's girl liquid eyeliner I've been really liking this 
Sorry if this is annoying, I'll take it away right after I'm done with my liner. But I heard on Kathleen Light's YouTube channel, I don't know if you guys follow her, but if you don't, you should. She is such a doll. She said that this is a dupe for the Kat Von D liquid liner, so. And see, it's so nice when you clean up because you already know right where to put your liner because it like draws the line for you. I don't often do a winged liner on myself because I don't think I have the right eye shape. So a lot of times I don't like to do wings on myself. If you have hooded eyes, sometimes it just doesn't look right. For foundation, I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Foundation in the color Bisque, which is the lightest one. And I'm going to mix it in with this Maybelline Fit Me in the color 115 Ivory. Don't know about you, but this ivory is like me at my tannest. I'm just gonna apply this to my face with my fingers, just to kind of spread the product around because I don't like the Beauty Blender to absorb too much product. All right, now taking my wet beauty blender, I'm just going to pounce this out. And I avoid my under eye area because I notice if I put foundation and then concealer on top of the foundation, it just gets too cakey. For my under eye concealer, I am using the Maybelline Master Conceal in the color 0 Oh, one zero fair, which is the lattice color. And I feel like this concealer is kind of like the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer really um, similar consistency and finish. The thing about this is that I like to have an applicator to apply my under eye concealer. So it's kind of, I don't really love these kind of tubes, but that's a first world problem. Next, I'm going to set my under eyes with my very favorite setting powder. This is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the color Cameo. I'm not really going to cake it on. I just want to do a really light layer. I have dry under eyes, and so if I put too much powder and try to bake, it just really makes any of the dryness accentuated. I'm also going to bring this onto my nose and around my mouth. I'm gonna go back into my eyeshadow palettes. Good morning. All across the bottom. Also the color dark chocolate. For mascara, I'm using my Maybelline Great Lash. Moving on to the rest of my face to make myself not look so much like a thumb. I look like a giant blob of mashed potatoes right now. <laughs> I'm going to be using my Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm just going to use this middle warm shade here to start to warm up my cheeks and the exterior of my face. Okay, going back into my Bin Nye, I'm gonna carve out my cheekbone with the flat side of my brush. I mean, the flat side of my beauty blender. And just clean it up. It's kind of like an eraser. I'm also gonna do this around my mouth. because Sometimes it comes too close to my mouth and I don't like that. And same thing on the other side. For my under eyes to highlight, I'm just going to mix all three of these light shades on the top. This one's a matte yellow banana powder, and then these ones have just a slight amount of shimmer to them. And I'm just going to place that right on my cheekbones and under eye area just a little bit, especially with the yellow, because I just want to really brighten that area. I'm not going to be doing any blush or any pink because I'm keeping this all natural browns and nude colors. And now my face is feeling really powdery just because I put on so many powders. So I like to just damp my face after I've done all of my bronzing, highlighting, everything like that. I like to just put a face mist on there. I'm just gonna use this coconut water again because it's right next to me. And I'm just going to mist my face several times. And then I like to just kind of pat the mist. Just so it kind of like melts with all my powders and everything kind of just like melts together. I wanted to keep that kind of like dewy look. For my lashes, I'm going to use some Ardell Wispies. I've used these before, obviously, but I just really like Ardell Wispies. They're just so fluttery and long. Lashes just make such a big difference. There we go. And then for lips, I'm using this ColourPop liquid lipstick in the color Chi. I have no Cupid's bow, so I had to draw my own Cupid's bow to make it look like I have one. All right, you guys, well, that is it for this nude and neutrals makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look, and I will see you guys very soon. Okay, 
拜。